Bourbon. What's up guys, it's your boy Jeremy De La Rosa, AKA JD The Collector. We're here at Bourbon Sports Cars with Anthony of No City Designs. Today we're gonna do a little shopping today, see what he's feeling, see what he's not. You ready? Yes sir, let's go. So Anthony, just talk about how No City Design came about, so, how the name came out. Yeah, so No City, um, the name was actually came up by one of the founders, Eric, he's actually not here today. So when he was looking up names and kind of main, names with meaning, he found No City, but it actually came from like the Czech word to carry. So it was actually spelled N-O-S-I-T-I. So then we turned it into No City, N-O-C-I-T-I or Y. But when we did that, we also thought that this hobby is, it's not bound to any particular city, state. It's, its you know, worldwide pretty much. You know, we have a lot of people from Australia in the hobby that I've met, you know, on Instagram. Uh, New York, East Coast is big. Um, you know, Los Angeles, Inland Empire, Ont uh, Ontario, California, San Diego. So that's what we, we thought that this, you know, the name is like no bounds. So no city, mm. and also means to carry and, and check. So that's where that, <laughs> that's that came cool. from. So uh, we came up with the No City design. The way the idea of the bag came out was, so I was actually carrying around big old shoe boxes of all my slabs, taking them into work in, in a big backpack. And I came to my friend and I was just like, you know, this, this isn't practical. I can't be carrying this big old backpack with me everywhere. And, um, you know, I'm just carrying this, this big old shoe box, walking around into work and, you know, can't really be discreet with it. So we decided we should make a backpack. So he kind of pushed me to do it. I would always complain about it. So then, yeah, it just kind of happened. We met up with a designer. Um, we did a market analysis. We interviewed people in the hobby that went to the car, the car shows because they just started opening up. We interviewed a couple people from the hobby, Step Brothers Collectibles, Calvin Collects, Long Island Cards. Um, and pretty much the feedback that we got was that instead of a backpack, they wanted a crossbody. Hmm. So we kind of came out with this like crossbody. You could also wear the fanny pack. So that's how that idea came about and like the process that we went on to. So we probably have about three prototypes now since March. Um, hopefully coming out with the final one next month and start going to the manufacturing. Okay, that's, wow. I didn't realize how much um, research you guys have put into work and that's so crazy. Uh, one thing is, you, I remember you telling me was that it took you guys about six months in, right? Yeah. And you guys are finally almost there to drop the final design. Let's talk about this, how the whole design just came about. Cause I know you said you want to make it a crossbody, but just the idea and just trying to make it as sleek as possible. Like you told mm -hmm. me, just all that, all that work you guys are just putting into to finally making that product. Let's talk about just the process of that. Yeah, so like I said, we, originally we were thinking about a backpack. So what we, uh, we partnered up with this uh, manufacturer, or this designer product engineer in uh, San Francisco. Uh, it was uh, Josh, his name was Josh. And he uh, pretty much what he did was he drew out different concepts. He drew out a backpack. He drew out a fanny pack. Uh, we asked everybody like, what do you what do you guys like from each little design that he did? And we'll kind of piece it together and make it one thing. So everyone was gravitating to the fanny pack. So that's mm. how that came along. Um, originally, it was kind of hard because, you know, he wasn't in the hobby. So I actually had to teach him about the mm. hobby to also get you know, the design. So I had a lot of input. Um, he kept on thinking like, oh, we're gonna make a bag for shoe boxes. But I was like, no, we want the bag to be the shoe box. So we made the, we made it for slabs specifically. Obviously, um, when we go through it a little later, I'll show you inside. Um, I also have a heart saver in there. Mm. I have one touches in there, BGS, uh, PSA. So we wanted to make sure that it fits, you know, everything doesn't necessarily have to be for the slab. The sleekness and the design, that was actually Josh, you know, that was his design. Um, he pretty much, we bought other backpack brands that we liked, uh, Peak Design, Revite. We kind of saw what they did uh, material wise and design wise, and we took that all together and made what we have now. Man, that seems like a lot of work. Yeah. One thing is, I like the reason why I brought you guys in is because you guys are doing different things, right? We had Step Brothers in, we had Mama Breaks, we had uh, Ultimate Pastime, Wiley. We have all these people that are just trying to change the game. And I, that's the reason why I brought you in because, like I said, no one's doing what you're doing. Yeah. You know, and that's the one thing that's so crazy about this is that you're probably going to change the game in a few months. That's and I hope, for. and I'm just excited for what you guys are going to bring because the way um, I know off camera, you showed me the, the, the prototypes and everything, and it, it just seems so much work. And once everything's done, man, I can't wait to see everything go come about. 
this one thing I want to talk about is you talked about the hobby. Uh, before you guys started all this stuff, what were you what were you into? What were you collecting? So originally, I got into the hobby because my my cousin started doing it, uh -huh. and uh, so it was obviously during the COVID pandemic. And he was telling me that he's waiting outside these targets in Walmart <laughs> trying to get boxes. Yeah, and. Um, I was like, dude, cards are in again? You know, I was just thinking about it. I remember going to Target and buying a mega box, you know, as a kid at the Walmarts and Targets and my parents buying them for me. So then he started showing me and then I started following a couple Instagram accounts and I work a lot. So I work a swing shift in a lot of graveyards. So pretty much I started getting into the hobby just by doing breaks online and then eventually razzes. But um, when I got in, obviously Herbert Burroughs were big. So I, I started, you know, I was doing the pick white, pick your teams and I was doing the, the Herberts and the and the and the, the Burrows, yeah, the, the two us, yeah. yeah, two us of course, and uh, that's pretty much how it started. So, I, you know, I'm really big on her. I'm a Raider fan though, but oh, me too, so me too. I hate that I like Herbert, but Trust he's, me. he's the real deal. Um, Burrow's starting to show out, so I mean, I'm glad that you know those are people I went after because you know they're they're the new kids. Uh, that's who I'm following right now, you know, and I like them, so that's who I'm I'm kind of chasing right now, Burrow, and then. I'm still waiting to get a big Kobe or even the Kobe that I want. When I got into the hobby, his prices were already skyrocketing. So um, maybe I'm gonna trade up for one eventually, just waiting with the bag. I haven't been to a lot of card shows for that purpose, trading or buying, but I wanna get a, a nice Kobe. That's that's what I'm looking for next. Right. So Anthony, um, you guys are just not a bag brand or anything. You guys are actually a clothing brand too. Yeah. Everything, right? You guys are trying to branch off to everything you could possibly can, which is so cool. Uh, let's talk about the t-shirts because you guys just dropped it a few weeks ago, right? You have one on right now. Yeah, um, actually our partner Jason came up with the design. So Jason's our, our third partner. He does the marketing Instagram. So if you guys message us on Instagram, we're most likely talking to Jason unless he needs my input in there. Okay. Um, so yeah, the design came from him. Uh, we have like a topographic print on the back of it. Oh, so oh kinda, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. kind of like what we use on the background of all of our Instagram marketing and stuff like that. But, you know, we originally came out with the No City. Um, we like the NOCT look. We like the simplicity of our brand. Um, kind of like how our bag's gonna be. It's gonna be like minimalistic, clean. Um, but the shirts, you know, they're they're more for a promotional mm. for us. You know, just gonna kind of give them out. Um, we'll throw it in there on our razzes sometimes that we're gonna do. Um, but we know, you know, we want people to, to idolize the brand. Uh, we want to be able to do both because um, we do feel like our our bag and our brand is gonna be like a lifestyle hobby brand where we want to make the hobby easier for other people. We, we want to, you know, we want people to be like, oh, we can go to No, no City and, and it's going to make our experience in the hobby easier, more simplistic and things like that. Yeah, and like you said, just trying to bring everything together. I of used course. to, I used to like uh, collect shoes and everything. Uh, I know it's totally different from what we were talking about, but <laughs> just able to bring everything that you guys are passionate about, right? Trying to bring in the clothing brand, the lifestyle brand. So that way you guys are just not just cards and everything, but you guys are bigger than that. And just be able to grow that should be really exciting. So um, I know you brought the first um, prototype in. So mm -hmm. just talk about the uh, when you. I know everything's not perfect, but when you guys first got it, what was the biggest thing? You're like, man, like this is actually real. And second is um, just talk about just the. What were you guys thinking? Like, hey, is this the one, or can we make it better? So uh, when, we're, when we're coming out with the product. The main thing is that this is going to be our first product that our brand actually drops. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure it's perfect, which is why we haven't rolled out yet. We could have easily thrown our first one out there and, and you know, been the market already. But we want to, every time we come out with the prototype, we figure something, we figure out something that could be better. So for example, in the first one, it had the really nice sleekness. So what we did when we got the first one was that we actually interviewed um, everyone that we interviewed the first time for a second time. Mm. And we showed them the bag. We showed them, this is the bag, what can be better? Um, so a lot of the um, feedback that we got from the first bag was they wanted the in, like the inner shell, just real quick, inner shell to have a zipper on it to, to be more secure. So you would have the, the outer flap and then the, the inner zipper. So when we actually got the prototype, the um, our designer actually made like a Velcro insert and then the back, it was like an inner bag that would Velcro in with a zipper. Mm -hmm. And I think that was more because of the, probably the inexperience of, of actually dealing with material goods and stuff like that, because uh, we thought they would just, you know, put a zipper around the lid rather yeah. than a whole little separate inner bag. So the inner bag had no handle or anything like that. It pretty much was just a shell to hold cards. So then when we got the, um, when we actually went and made this second prototype, um, 
we told them we don't you know we don't want the inner bag anymore we just want to zip her around because that's what people wanted mm -hmm. but then when we went there they actually made an inner bag but for some reason i actually liked it i was like because the the inner bag wasn't velcroed in it could come out but then that's when the idea to put a handle on it came in yeah so from me trying to eliminate something we actually brought it back but with the handle so that's where you know the simplicity of being able to take the bag out go to booth to booth trade cards and then when you're done with it you want to look up comps because I'm sure at the Pachanga Card Show, you saw people were drinking, you know, yeah. holding their Pelican case. So as soon as you want to grab your phone, you have to either put down your drink or put down your Pelican case. So which one's it going to be? So um, that's where that idea is that now you can put that inner bag back in your bag. You have yeah. hands free. It's, yeah. It's just, that's where that came from. So now with the second bag, we're not necessarily done. We're looking at ways to add other pockets, make it look sleek like the original design again. So hopefully with the third one, we'll, everything will just come complete. We're looking at the inner bag to hold about 24 cards, uh, PSA graded slabs, maybe a little bit less when it comes to the BGS because they're a little thicker. Thicker, of course. Um, obviously, if you're going to hold like card savers in there, you can hold a bunch of them, mm -hmm. top loaders, you can hold a bunch. There's going to be dividers in there so you can organize it how you want. Oh, okay. And, so it's uh, going to be like a, um, I'm sorry, it's about to be, it's, so it looked like a, um... A photo bag, right? Yeah. So pretty much, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you'll have the center divider for the two rows, and then you can divide it on each side how you want. Nice. So that's how that's what we're looking at doing on the final one. So I don't know if you want to uh, release the date, but any you know have like a time frame eventually. Um, hopefully for uh, probably January is what we're looking at. Beginning of the so year. As soon as we uh, finish the last prototype and give it a go ahead, we'll be in manufacturing. So hopefully from there it won't take too long. And then that'd be the final one? Yeah. You guys, you guys are not gonna be like, man, I maybe want to change. I mean, you never know, right? Unless they drop the ball on something, but yeah. it should be the final one. Man, this that's gonna be insane. Beginning of the year, drop something new, yeah. no one's ever seen. Exactly. And then this blows up. Man, um, so with that being said, you guys are matter of fact, you guys are gonna build it. Are you guys have a set? Are you guys gonna make it super limited first time around? Or are you just gonna go all out and see what so, happens? Um, first time around, we're, we're gonna be doing about a thousand units. Okay. Um, so, We'll see how we're gonna sell all of them. So either, you know, we figured that we have to do a lot of card shows because it's gonna be a new bag, new product. It's not as simple as like a suitcase with foam in it. You know what I mean? People wanna hold it, they wanna touch it. They wanna see what it looks like with cards in it, fill it on. Um, so we wanna be able to provide that. We'll probably do a lot of uh, a lot of different card shows, um, you know, let people, you know, experience it. Mm. Um, and then obviously we'll do the, the online shopping, we'll do that. But uh, hopefully the um, the exposure that we'll get from the card shows will really yeah. help, you know, drive in the business. Yeah, of because course. I feel like once people get to see it and, and feel how easy it could make their life, it'll be, it'll be an easy buy. Do you have an actual price point of everything? Uh, we're hoping for about $89.99, oh, so $90 price range. Yeah. And that would include both inner bags. So it's, it's like two in one. That's not bad. Yeah. That'd be perfect. Like I said, um, you guys might change everything again. Yeah. Nobody, no one's gonna bring the suitcase anymore. You just see you, your brand across the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, just talk about that. What would that feel and be like when you guys actually finally drop it and you just go to random place, shows, trade nights, and you see a random kid have it on? Like, what would that feel and be like? That would actually be like, honestly, that's what we're, that's what we want. That'd be pretty awesome to be able to go somewhere and see a bunch of people, uh, you know, rocking our bags, whether it's on their hip or on their back. Uh, hopefully we'll have different colors so not everybody's wearing the same black one but yeah. uh, it, it's just that's what we want you know that's what we're hoping to see and it, hopefully it'll it'll just be um it'll be something that could just change the hobby and yeah be the go-to bag and that's how i feel about doing the show it's just i haven't got you know i've gone places already and people coming up to me mm -hmm. telling me like oh you know you're doing good and this and that yeah. and just getting that positive feedback is probably like the coolest thing it makes me want to go more of course you know and that's what i, I hope that's what, and i know that's what's gonna happen with you guys definitely you're talking about um, the colors real quick so you guys are planning on doing different different yeah, colors so we talked about doing different colors on the on the outer bags even giving people the option of doing different inner bag colors by customizing yeah, it maybe cu maybe customizing maybe even doing a broader embroidery but that's something that's hopefully the, along yeah. down the line but it's it's just conversation that comes up because we do have people request things like that so it's obviously something that we have to talk to or talk about as a business um because like for me like the inner bag the cool thing about the inner bag is that when i'm done with it and i'm done with the bag for the day i can throw it in my safe and i, I can hold my cards in the safe in the inner bag mm. you know so i don't have to necessarily have the pellets or pelican case or the, the suitcase for it i can organize it by inner bag um that's how i would do it for me because i can have it by player by team by pc or things i want to trade that day mm -hmm. um so yeah that's uh that's kind of where we're getting at man um so just one more day i just wanted to yeah. talk about uh 
I know you guys want to make it small, but eventually, you guys are going to grow eventually. Of course. Do you guys eventually want to try to make a backpack out eventually. of it or move up to something big yeah, else? Yeah, because we feel like anything more than what we're carrying now for a fanny pack or a uh, or a crossbody, it'd be either too bulky. You might as well get a backpack. Make it look a bit more sleek. It'll be a little bit easier to use as a backpack. But originally, that's what we had the mm. idea of, and we do plan on getting there. Uh, we plan on like doing a full-on line of of things for the hobby whether it's suitcases a backpack and a fanny pack just to kind of make it easier for even the uh we're not just trying to go for the people that go to the car shows we also want to go for the people the vendors yeah the vi the vi oh, the virus exactly. yeah. you know so maybe a vendor you know vendor wants to get up from their seat they can use this bag you know put whatever cards they want to go look at other booths use this bag and go so that's that's kind of what we're looking at we want to be the the one-stop shop kind of thing oh you guys want to be the panini basically of course <laughs> so i know i know maybe this is a random idea but uh, you're talking about the vendors have you guys ha came up with the idea maybe you know the showcases at this mm -hmm. uh, shows have you guys ever thought about doing something like that maybe uh manufacturing like a showcase where you're able to um fold it in or whatever something it's like funny because uh one of our designs that we actually had when we were uh, questioning the people was actually a showcase for vendors because like i said remember i was telling you that um, our de our designer we had to kind of like train him about the hobby to let him learn about it because he was still new to it yeah so one of his things was actually a bag for vendors that could actually turn into a display and show mm -hmm. cards so that is one thing that we also look to because we know there's a shortage of those cases too it's hard to find them but maybe a, a different way of displaying cases we can also come up with yeah um but i mean there's a lot of things that we can try to do in this hobby we're actually working on a like a shipper right now for uh for graded cards i don't know if you were able to see that at the show but we actually have a cardboard shipper that's specifically for psa cards instead of cutting cardboard so we have things like that too so we're we're going into different fields of it so um we're gonna make it happen it's just trying to land this one first and then going on to the next all right so anthony one thing that caught my eye was back in um the pachanga show there i was setting up and all i hear is um people drill like <laughs> hammering drilling I was like what's going on over there and mind you i'm all the way in the back all the way in the back by the tv and i'm just hearing like are they doing construction right now then all i see is a big <laughs> cardboard go up i'm like what is going on and one thing is i was like man i gotta know what's going on so i went over there introduced myself and this, everything you're doing but just talk about this again just being different yeah just talk about that whole setup because when you school when you go to card shows fortunately it's just a table and the cards right mm -hmm. when i went over there it was like walking to ikea setup room, <laughs> you know what i mean so just just talk about that yeah. and the idea behind it so uh actually that was uh i gave my friend eric and uh, jason all the credit for that because i was a little bit of a doubter in the beginning um so what happened was when uh, wiley actually um came up to us about being a, one of the sponsors for the show we were like yeah that's fine and my friend drew up a drew up a little on a piece of paper a storefront type design and he was like send this to him and ask him if we can do it so i sent wiley a picture i was like hey dude like i don't know if there's any rules or, or what it, if we were supposed to just have a table with tablecloths but you know this is we were wondering if we could do something like this the walls it had walls you know it's uh, a room it's a walk-in room it literally on a storefront <laughs> It's like you're walking to a swap meet and you see the actual storefront and you're like, oh shoot, like this, you know, these people are taking it serious. So I was actually sick the week they were coming up with it. Um, so they, they give them all the credit. Like I said, they came up, they made all the walls, they got the two by fours, got the plywood, <laughs> you know, painted it, went to Ikea. They actually bought, you know, all the furniture pieces that were in there. Um, so I give them all the credit. So it was pretty much my two partners that came up with that, the design, the idea. Um, we even had laminate flooring in this place. I know, I'm place. telling you, game changing yeah. things. So, uh, you know, it's funny because when we all walked in, we, I think we all thought like, oh, we might be overdressed. You know, we, we went to a party and a formal party that was actually semi-casual, you know, so it was our first card show too. So it was a learning experience, but well, I think you, what we you guys did, killed it. Yeah, yeah, I think what we did, we, it's kind of hard to do anything less than that because I think people, we just set the standard. Um, so yep. yeah, we had, uh, well, we were, it actually was supposed to be bigger. So it was supposed to stick out <laughs> another 10 feet. So, or uh, eight feet, I'm sorry. Yeah. Feet. So uh, it was, uh, but then we realized like, oh, we're gonna be in the walkway a little bit. So we, we improvised, took out two walls. We still laid out all the laminate, um, but it, I mean, it came out good. I feel like we really executed it. And the reason why we came up with the, the design like that was because we wanted to invite people in we didn't we weren't selling our product yet we were selling our prototype that's what he told me yeah so we were trying to get the prototype you know we were trying to get visibility to it we got a lot of feedback um from people that were there uh, we actually had a, a lady there that was with her husband 
And she's like, I love this idea because I'm tired of holding my husband's suitcase for him every year we go. It's like when he's done with it, he gives it to me. Yeah. So, you know, the, it's, you got a lot of good feedback. We're, we're really happy with where we're going with it. Um, I feel like we're on the right track. I feel like we're, we're ready for any show that comes. We, we saved all those walls, so we're ready for the next show. Um, but yeah, I just feel like that's, we're, we're on the right track. I feel like people love the love the walls people were giving us feedback that they wish they would have done stuff like that too mm -hmm. um but yeah i just feel like we might even change the way people do shows like and the reason why we did it that way too is because i showed them the you know dallas card investors how they do the pre-grading for cards yeah i mean when you go into the uh, into a show and they uh, they show how they have it they have two tents up you know with the uh the dallas yeah, card yeah. investor logo on there and they stand out so that's what we were trying to do and we you know we executed it and people loved it people were surprised and I, I feel like we did a good job yeah you guys knocked it off the part it's standing out that's the yeah. biggest thing is just taking that chance and believing in it and boom and look you got so much feedback uh the one thing i wanted to say is you guys did a great i mean you guys did a great job but one thing that you guys went over was the the promoting the promoting was pretty solid <laughs> you yeah. got i don't want to be like mad because I, I did my little walk around after i had to go over there so i was like <laughs> i introduced myself um, what you guys did was cool because um, you introduced, I introduced yourself, or myself to you. Mm -hmm. You say, hey, we're going to do a raffle for yeah. the email. I was like, oh, this guy's a genius. <laughs> so he did. I, I entered my email in, um, then I entered the raffle. So that whole day you guys are doing raffles yeah. back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, we gave away a lot of stuff. I mean, we were giving out packs to the people that signed up. Um, I probably gave away yeah, that's maybe what like $800 in slabs. Um, gave away some shirts. One of the kids even got an elephant print Cole Anthony from the pack that we gave. So it was successful. We got a lot of feedback. People loved it. It was it was a way to keep people engaged and to remember us. Yeah, and that's the biggest thing is this, all these brands, they're coming out, but they don't know how to engage. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like one thing you guys got down is the marketing. Of course. I might have to hire you guys because you guys are doing something that's nobody. Like, again, I know I keep saying I'm being repetitive, but you guys are doing things no one's doing. The show, the, the, the setup, the bags, doing all this branching out. Like you guys are gonna change the game eventually and step by step and I'm I'm just happy that I'm proud to be still a part of this journey because you know it's like one step at a time, you know, and this the end game is just gonna be amazing. So speaking of the end game, what is the what is the biggest what's the big goal for you guys that just that'd be like okay, you guys are gonna step back and be like, damn, this is what we created and this is what we made. So what would that be like? <laughs> We're still trying to get the prototype out, but um, I mean, MG for us, it would be pretty much to be like the number one go-to bag mm. company for the hobby. Maybe branch into other into other needs. Um, my dad's always brought up that he's been trying to find the backpack that's like perfect for backpacking. You know, mm. going. My dad does a lot of traveling, things like that. So there's a lot of ways that we could branch out, but we want to be a really good company for the hobby. Um, like I said, we're we're gonna try to be one of the first to market um we really take in consideration of the, what the people want um we don't do anything without feedback from people in the hobby um because i mean if i i hardly go to car shows i work a lot on the weekends so i need to ask the people what they want in a bag so when we, even when we interview some of them and we ask them what do you guys think some of them are like there's not even many things we would change to the bag like you pretty much hit it spot on so that's what we want. We want to be able to be the number one bag company for the people in the hobby. We want to be the go-to pretty much in the industry. Nice. So um, I know you guys got in the game, but what's the biggest advice that you received so far? Uh, when it comes to card collecting? Just in general, in general. Well, in card collecting, I mean, um, one thing I learned is that you want to go for, you know, the rare, the short prints, the numbers. Um, I feel like when I first got in, and I feel like a lot of it was due to the breakers was that they hyped up the base card Zions. They're like, you hit a break and it'd be like, oh, John Moran. I'm like, oh yeah. And then I'm like, oh, it's only worth this much now. Yeah. But I mean, collect what you love. Um, I'm starting to collect more of my Raiders cards now. Yeah, so me I got too. like Derek Carr, Camel Prism, which is like, one of my favorite cards. I want to get it slabbed up just to have it slabbed. So just collect what you love. Um, and then it won't, you know, if you don't try, like, try to cheat it as a business, you know, it won't hurt you in that yeah. way. Because I feel like when people get discouraged that, you know, their card dropped in value, I mean, then it's kind of easier for them to leave the hobby. But to me, it's like collect what you love. Um, and the value is like more sentimental than it is price value. Yeah. Buy what you like. Shout out to Mike. Mark. Um, but what about just the whole business aspect of you guys doing the, the brand? Yeah. So the, the business, we're, I mean, it's a learning process. I mean, we've never done anything in the manufacturing field. Um, definitely shop around. Um, because I mean, I feel like 
we kind of put out a lot of money in places we really didn't need to. Mm. Um, and obviously the learning process, everything we do is learning process. Even from the Pachanga show, we learn. So what I think is that whatever you do, take a step back and you know take notes on what you could have done better because there's a lot to learn yeah. from yourself and from other people. So um, pretty much is, you know, whatever you do, take note of it. See what you could have done better and execute it the next time. Yeah, same. I have the same mindset. I don't really look at losses as L's. Yeah. I take, I, turn, I look at them as lessons. So yeah. that way, like you said, you see what you did wrong. Possibly, mm -hmm. you may might think it's wrong, but you could make it a lot better. Yeah, I'm sure you learn from every show. Yeah, you yeah, did, yeah. Something yeah. that you want to do. Of yeah. course, always. It's just improving step by step. Of course. And then now the last thing I just want to talk about, just the bit, I mean, probably already talking about, just the biggest advice you can give somebody like, you got kids around here and they were like, hey, what can I do to be something like, get to the level you guys are at eventually? Yeah, so I feel like with me, I, I was really hesitant on doing something, oh. but the way I see it, anyone my age or younger or even older, um, try it because if you don't try it, you're gonna regret it. Like I said, I never probably would have actually done the bag if it weren't for my friends, you know, telling me just to do it. They're like, I'm tired of hearing you complaining, do it. So I feel like if you want to do something, you know, try it out. The worst thing that happens is it fails and you try something else. So what I can, the best advice I can give is, is to go out and try something that's, you know, you've been wanting to do. Yeah. I mean, you only live one life and at least I can say I gave it a try. And if it doesn't work, yeah. be like, well, I tried it and it, you know, it was a good experience of learning process. And that's, that's pretty much what I have yeah. to say for and, people. And that's, and so I feel the same way too. I don't like live, I mean, Everybody we bring in here, they always say the same thing. Go after it, because mm -hmm. you don't want to live that that what if, right? Because you don't want to go like, man, three down, three months down the line, I could have. I mean, imagine if we would have did that. Yeah. Now you're second guessing yourself. Now you're having doubts. Now it's just everything just builds up. So I'm just glad that you came in here, told us that like, go after it, right? Yeah. Just be. And I and I said in the last interview, to be passionate. Of course. As long as you're passionate, you're not gonna lose. You know, I talk to everybody here, um, Andy as well. Like yeah. we have conversations off camera, and we always talk about this going after it, right? You never know. You never know what's gonna happen if you actually go after exactly. it and believe in yourself mm -hmm. and just put in the work. And I'm just happy that, like, you know, you're giving everybody that same energy that you want to bring back. Yep. So, man, thank you, man. I really appreciate this. Got it, got enough, so I split it. Everybody solid, worldwide, now I'm trending. On the hot topic, touchdown, now I'm winning. How they gonna stop it? There you have it, guys. Andy came through, told some amazing stories. Make sure you guys follow their brand, No City Designs on Instagram, and make sure you look out for their um, final product of their sling bag. You got anything? No, that's it. Thanks for everything. Uh, take a look at our Instagram for the newest shows that we'll be going to. Um, hopefully, we'll be doing a lot of things soon. Thanks, guys. Oh, no, yeah. You know we got it like that